Hi, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing a little reading, um, another Celtic cross reading on here. Um, this one's quite interesting. I was going to do it a little bit later. Uh, I've got to run out in a moment and teach a class, but I thought this would be very interesting to look at. So let's get into it, shall we? So the overall reading is all about justice. So this is the... Um, this reading is about truth, basically. Um, that's the current situation at the moment. So it's about getting balance. Um, and there seems to be a polarity, perhaps, in your mind. Um, it's almost like a feeling of push-pull, like attracting and repelling of energy. Um, and kind of like going between the two. It's like you've got a bit of a conflicting thing going on in your mind. And you're trying to figure out the purpose of certain things, certain things that are going on in your life, why they're there and what you need to do about them. So that's what I'm getting on there is for your current situation. So I'm just going to pick a room that resonates with that right now. We have Fehu. So yeah, it is a little bit like um, Fehu holds the energy of, you know, we can feel wealthy, but there's always that fear of losing that wealth. And there's something about this with you, I feel, that there's an energy of having something that you want, but the fear of losing it. And it's almost like the fear of losing it um, or being rejected in it that's kind of holding you back from going after it in the first place. Um, so that's kind of the energy that I'm picking up from this as your current energy of the current situation that's going on for you. So think about that right now. What situations are on your mind that you're feeling that polarity between um, attract and repel kind of thing? Um, you know, and what is the purpose of what you want in your life right now that you're trying to manifest. And we have the energy here of the hanged man, which is your challenge within this, which is interesting because this is about making a sacrifice. So it almost feels like that sort of tightrope you're walking between attracting and repelling, something has to give. There has to be a sacrifice that's made here in order for you to move forward in the direction that you want to go. It does symbolise a fear of rejection, is what I'm getting from this. So there's something in this situation that you are fearing being rejected or being abandoned or left behind if you go down this road, if you if you choose this. Um, oh, what was I going to say? So part of the challenge is about taking a new perspective on things. So it's like when we... When we take a chance, we do something different, we find a different outcome. Um, if we try and do the same things over and over, we keep going through the same lessons. And I'm gonna come down to that in a moment when we look at uh, what we need to focus on. That's part of this. There's a need to really focus on what brings you that joy, what brings you that light, what brings you that element of feeling like, I'm not gonna be abandoned here because I'm so, I feel so wealthy within myself. I feel like I've got such a lot going for me within myself so let's have a look at the hanged man and what room we have that goes with this for your challenge okay yeah we have perthro so i did just say about taking a chance there didn't i and perthro is all about that this is the rune the gambler's rune so it's a lock cup it's basically like you know um you've got to take a gamble on something and yes you may get hurt but then again no you might not and how um, confident we are in ourselves kind of helps us understand whether we're going to be affected or not do you know what I mean so the energy of the challenge here is all about this kind of like you know don't allow that fear to sort of stop you um, there's an element of surrendering here so there may be an element of allowing maybe a vulnerability to show in this sense um, you, there is definitely a need for taking a new perspective, which kind of suggests taking a chance on this. I've got that other song stuck in my head now, that uh, which I always call Chicken Dance, which, take, you know, what's it called? Take a chance on me, that one. <laughs> I won't sing again, I promise. Okay, so we're moving into now, what is it that we need to focus on? So we know that this is about truth. We know this is about a, a mental state, I feel, that's a polarity between one thing to another. And you keep kind of going back and forth and it may be kind of creating headaches and things like that. I've spoken to a lot of people lately that have been having headaches, migraines, that kind of thing. 
Um, so this could, as it's a collective on here, this could be the energy that's going on. It's sort of like knowing what you want and how to move forward in that direction. Now, your focus, you may be feeling this way because you are going through a spiritual awakening right now. And by spiritual awakening, what I mean is it's like you're opening this door of perception through here that's kind of switching on your intuition, but also illuminating illusions in your life as well. And this may be a time for you to focus on maybe working with a spiritual teacher or maybe reading books um, that suit you based on a spiritual teacher that you're interested in or listening to podcasts, that kind of thing, just to kind of, you know, there may be keywords and things in there that help you. I always think whatever you go and listen to, whatever you go and do, there's always something in there that kind of... Um, relates to you it's almost like you were meant to find that particular podcast or you were meant to read that paragraph in that book because it was meant for you at that time and helping you along on that spiritual journey that you've got on there um but the hierophant is also talking about with your push pull kind of energy of you know do i do this or do i not do this there's an energy there of learning from the lessons so it's almost like basically do you want to repeat past lessons or have you recognised how to prevent those lessons from repeating? And this is about you changing some of the traits and things that maybe don't serve you anymore. And you find sometimes that people around you, family members and things like that, there's a tradition, isn't there, with family, where you may feel that you have to be a certain way or act a certain way. It's almost like, you know, you go out with your friends, you act a certain way. You go out with your family, you become something completely different. Um, but when you start to raise your spiritual awareness and you become more aware of yourself and more authentic to who you are, you kind of stop doing that. But the people around you still want to find that part of you that was like that. So it can be very difficult to make that transition and honour yourself in that way. So let's get a room for your focus then at this time. Okay. We've got Ewas, so this is the relationship with yourself. So this is really working on relationships in general. I do feel maybe this is particularly about maybe um, relationships in your life. But specifically to focus on here is the relationship with yourself. It's aligning your head and your heart and being on the same page with both of them because that's what's creating this sort of am I in, am I out kind of feeling is because your head and your heart aren't really aligned. Like your head's telling you one thing, like, well, this doesn't, this isn't going to work and this isn't going to work. And your heart's kind of saying, oh, but this is, this is feeling good. This feels true. This feels honest or whatever. And Ewas is about, if you imagine that's like two horses heads coming together, it's kind of bringing you back within yourself, within your power, standing within your power. Um, and that's what the Hierophant is teaching you here is like always come from a place where you are stood in your personal power and don't let anything knock you off that power. Don't become anything that isn't really you. Just be true to yourself. You know, what feels right for you in your life is meant to be. It will gravitate towards you or you'll gravitate towards it. You won't be able to sort of forget about it or leave it alone if it's really meant to be. It's If this is a spiritual journey for you, it may be that you've had a calling for a particular course or some kind of thing that you want to learn, some knowledge that you want to learn. It won't go away until you actually go and do it. It's the same for this in, in any aspect, you know, career, um, learning things or relationships, you know, or particular people in your life. Maybe if there's somebody in your life that you're thinking, you know, or oh, there's this push-pull or whatever, you know, if it's not going away, there might be a reason for that. Obviously, you need to look deeper into it because it could be a trauma bond or it could be some other kind of reason um but even even with that it means going within and looking at the lessons of like well why have i got that there what is that teaching me about myself and that's ultimately i feel like what the focus is on is going within seeking out those lessons or maybe contacting um, a spiritual teacher i mean you could always come to me if you like um i can help you with figuring these things out, bringing things from the subconscious mind into the conscious mind. Um, we can talk through all of that. There's a lot of healing work that we can do to help you to, to move forward in that sense. So take that how it resonates. And if this is resonating so far for you, then this is definitely your reading. And if you haven't already, please do like and subscribe to my channel. 
and maybe comment down below as well so I know how this is resonating with you. We're going to move into now the past and what you're leaving behind. And I found this really interesting with the Eight of Wands in reverse because what you're actually leaving behind here is instability. You are leaving behind hesitation. And that's like with Perthro being there, it's kind of like that's no hesitation there. It's about taking that chance, going for it. So you're leaving behind where you were hesitant before and were lacking a direction. You've kind of got an idea of what direction you want to go in now and you're leaving behind that instability. That's really quite promising that this was in your past, to be honest, um, because it kind of means, and it's interesting, I will talk about this later, but in your environment, there's a very fast energy as well and hasty decision-making, decisive energy that's coming from that. And that's exactly what we've got here with the Eight of Wands in reverse. So let's see what room we have with the Eight of Wands in reverse, for your past and what you're leaving behind. Okay, so I feel like what you're leaving behind on here is um, a lack of truth, actually. It's almost like a truth that has been hidden is now coming to the surface. There's no more hesitating. There's no more insecurity about this. It's time. It's time to bring that truth out and about. And there is a lot to do with truth, justice, um, integrity coming through on this as well. So it's something's feeling nurturing and a safe place for this truth to be seen and heard. Okay. Oh, that fits quite nicely in there. Look, that looks quite nice. <laughs> like Bacano is like the, the shiny star in the centre. And that's exactly what it's like. It's almost like it's like, right, we're going to stand on the stage now. And here we go. We're not, we're not pissing about anymore. This is it. This is what we're doing. And it's a beautiful energy. I really like it. We're looking at strength now, which is the six of pentacles that we've got on here. Now, this is all about abundance of giving and receiving. So it's like things in balance. And that does bring a lot of strength when things are in balance. Airwaz is talking, where is it? Airwaz is talking about that, that balance there as well, because it's like instead of a power over or power under, it's a power with. And you're moving into a time of having a power with. You know, this is maybe for you having the strength to ask for help when you need it um, and bringing yourself into a more positive mindset rather than telling yourself what you can't do you're starting to realize actually this is what I can do and this is what I'm going to do as well um, there's an energy here of making some leaps like advances kind of thing and this could be um fortunate for you in terms of money as well Fahu could be suggesting that too you know this direction that you're going in it does feel like for some of you i feel like it could be um in terms of a relationship but some of you i feel like it's a relationship and um a new business venture as well so it's almost like two in one um maybe the person that you are with you're gonna go on to sort of explore business venture with working with that kind of thing because there's definitely this balance of like two people kind of a two-way abundance going on there a real balance of giving and receiving it's almost like I feel somebody's energy is really shifting and changing into a way that they never even thought was possible it's like completely different to what you've known before um okay so let's have a look in your near future so the near future we've got the ace of wands in the reverse position now when it's that way up this is like you know new ideas like you switched on in your brow center and things are really starting to heat up because you have kind of focused on this particular idea moving forward but as it's in the reverse <laughs> I do see somebody that's kind of hitting burnout at the moment because you have been so much in your mind your mind is now in need of rest so this could be a perfect time for you to try some forms of meditation maybe some pranayama um, breath work, you know, just trying to bring yourself out of all of those thoughts for a moment because it's like I see somebody ping ponging, if that's the words, going back and forth over, over, over the same things. And it's all because this truth needs to come out and really be heard, be seen. Um, and it allows a give and take. I almost see there's people around you that are kind of willing you to speak up and speak out because it's like 
with any friendships, with any relationships and things, if one person is pouring their heart out, they kind of want the other person to do the same so that there's a balance. And if one person is sort of like, oh no, I don't do things like that, I don't, I don't share my emotions and stuff, it kind of blocks certain aspects of energy within that relationship. So whether this is a work relationship or whether this is a romantic relationship or um, whatever it is that's going on in your life that you are having this duality about, this is a time for you to rest your mind right now, okay? It's time to get out of your head a little bit. Um, I'm gonna just pick a room to go with that right now. What room do you have for your near future? Trust. So just trust in the process. I do feel a very slow energy with this, where there's a need, a real need to kind of stay in your self-containment at this time. And just trust in the process. You know, anything that's meant for you, you won't have to run after, you won't have to rush for. Um, I had one of these conversations on, you know, those things that you get come up on Facebook and stuff, or like nobody has been able to spot the number 92 in all of these 93s or something. And I stupidly went and said oh yeah I found it and then got messages off somebody sort of saying oh well done um it, you you won two grand or something like this it's like oh okay what's the catch what do I have to do for that and then this person went on to sort of say oh well you send this amount of money here and then when we've received that money from you you get a bigger amount of money but then you have to pay this and you have to pay that and I was just a bit sort of like I just kept asking loads of questions basically just being a bit of a yeah, I could have just left it, but I just wanted to sort of keep seeing what, what this person was going to come back with. Um, why was I talking about that? What was I saying that for? This is an energy of trusting yourself, trusting to know what you're meant to do, what you're guided with. I've lost my train of thought on that one. So if you feel like you know what kind of thought I was on there, please put it in the comments. Don't know what's wrong with my brain today. Um... But this is kind of like where you can be too much in your mind about things. And it's, oh, that was it, that was it, I've got it. So this person was getting very desperate for me to pay this money. Almost like, a, well, you need to do it now. I want you to get your money right now. You need to pay this money. Um, which I was responding as sort of like, well... I just want a bit more information. When I've got enough information and I understand where this money is coming from, blah, 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 then I'll be more inclined to do it, you know? Whereas when we are not focusing our energy and we are hitting burnout, we can sometimes feel this rush to grab what we need. But if it's meant to be there, if it's, you know, a solid thing in your life, then there should be no rush for you to chase after it. There should be no chasing, basically. You shouldn't have to chase something if it's meant to be in your life, okay? Um, I just saw 18, 18 on the clock there. I don't know if number synchronicities mean anything to you. I don't particularly know what that one means, but you could Google it just to see what it says. Uh -huh. Might be interesting for you. Yeah, so we've got, within was on there, and this can be, you know, you already know, I feel, you're already making a decision, but there's something pulling you back from really stepping forward into it because there's this real like urge and hasty energy that you're looking for. We've got like the ones here working on that. But there's also this energy of needing to work on yourself, needing to trust yourself and align that head and the heart, learn from the lessons of the past, in order to move forward so that you don't have to relearn those lessons all over again or have the same experiences all over again, okay? It's a bit like, I've somebody said uh, something about this the other day, about, oh, why do I always get cheated on? That kind of thing. Or in relationships, why does this always happen to me? Why do I always attract this kind of person? Well, it kind of brings you back to, you know, yes, okay, it's unfortunate if things like that happen to you in relationships, but there's only the one factor that doesn't change in any relationship, and that is ourselves. So when things happen to us and we keep seeing a pattern repeating, we have to bring it back to ourselves. Like, well, what can I change within me? How can I, what can I do to change that? 
because you can't change other people. You can't make them become what you need them to be or what you want them to be. We can only work from ourselves. Okay. Now we're working here with um, what action to take. <laughs> and the action to take is actually death and rebirth. So the action I feel is actually already in place. Um, sorry, not action, advice. This is the, because there's so much action going on in this. There's so much energy of like wanting to sort of strive forward now. Um, there are changes ahead. So the advice here is that, you know, there is, there is an awareness within you, a newfound awareness of your way forward. And this may be like an aha moment, an epiphany that you've had. Something's happening here, something's changing. It kind of suggests that in your environment as well. But this is, you know, a real transformation that you're going through on many levels. And the major one is on this spiritual level, I feel. You've really opened up your emotional body and your spiritual body as well. I do really feel that coming through. Um, I'm feeling like there's, there is a sense of emotion there, but not like, you know, a sad, upset emotion. It's more a, this is new. This is, this is a new way of being or a new way of feeling. Um, aha, and we have the rune that goes with it is the rune Sir Willow, which is intention. This one's been coming out a lot lately, which is great to see. It aligns with the sun. So when the sun's shining, you do feel more inspired, don't you? You feel like you want to go outside and get more done, get things done when it's sunny and it's lighter in the morning, that kind of thing. So Sir Willow holds a lot of that energy, but it also explains about healing. And we've got, um, I'll tell you about your outcome after, but there's the Queen of Cups there at the top, which is kind of suggesting there is a real opening of emotional intelligence going on here. There's a lot of healing going on here for you, within you. Um, and it is really opening you up to your spiritual self. You may be starting to see more synchronicities or maybe feeling like you've got more compassion as well and understanding for other, like a bit of empathy going on there too. I'm going to put that right in the middle of that face there. <laughs> okay. So yes, moving on to your environment, we've got the Knight of Swords. Now, I love this energy. It's, it's quite hasty. It's quite a good sign in a reading. This is about your environment. So again, it's suggesting that there's been a decision made. You've made your mind up. You've made your mind up as to what direction you're going in. Um, you've got quite an assertive attitude towards this. Crows might be important to you today, actually, at this time. So if you've heard a lot of crows or seen a lot of crows or thought like, whoa, what's going on with crows today? They're really noisy uh, or in my face. Um, they're kind of trying to talk to you. It's almost like, the call's been put out like, come on, it's ready to go. We're ready to go. There's a real determination behind this energy and that's within your environment. So it's like, this is something where you're like, right, action stations. I'm not going to sit on this anymore. I'm not going to overthink this anymore because I'm in burnout with my thoughts. I need to take action. <laughs> and it looks like it's action towards that balance between the masculine and feminine. So it's almost like you've decided, right, I need to create some balance here. I need to be in balanced giving and receiving. And that's exactly what you're receiving on this. Um, I do feel somebody that's kind of, you really want balance. That's what you're striving for at this time. It's like, you really, really want that balance. But you've your heart centre's been opened here by something. And that's why you're making this decision that you're making now. It's like, you've really, really decided that's the way forward for me. That's where I'm going. That's what I want. Um, I do see somebody that may have started running as well recently. Maybe you've been doing a little bit of running, um, or more exercise kind of things. It's almost like burning up that energy, getting you out of your head and into your body. I always feel that's the best thing to do if you're stressing about things. Not so much stressing, but if you're in your head about a lot of things, get into your body, move your body around, and that creates that balance within you. Now, interestingly, your hopes and fears, we have the card of the lovers. Um, now this can be about romantic relationships, but as it's come up in hopes and fears, this could be about a choice. And like we were saying before, it's like you've made a decision, you've made a choice here. And it feels like the choice that you've made is actually to do with love, is to do with maybe what you feel is a soul tie or a soul mate. Um, it's a romantic relationship anyway. But as it's in the hopes and fears, 
and this is, might be the polarity, the decision making that you've had to go through with justice there and Feilu. It's a fear of like, well, if I fall into this, I'm likely to get hurt. I may be rejected or I may be abandoned at some point. Um, so I'm getting this feeling of like maybe perhaps you feel you're not enough or what you have isn't enough for this particular situation. Um, but it's something that you have decided that you want. Um, and it does feel like quite a desire as well. Um, you know, this is somebody that wants to, wants to be loved, wants to have love in their life. So let's see what room is going with that on there. Okay, we've got algas on here. So this is all about boundaries and protection. And I do feel possibly what is kind of holding you back in this space of like I'm going for this no I'm not going for this this attract and repel sort of energy is you're trying to set healthy boundaries in a certain respect but there are maybe desires and things that are stopping you from being able to set those boundaries but you're trying to sort of slow down the energy but there's a lot of haste here because of this feeling that you've got that's what I'm getting on here is like there's this real desire this real feeling so this could be maybe somebody that you've just met, um, that you're feeling this energy for, that you want to get into a relationship with if you're not already in a relationship with this person or you want to take it to the next level if you're already in this relationship. Um, and you may have taken your time deciding what you want. So maybe this boundary here, it's more about be gentle with yourself. You know, Don't be too harsh or strict on the way forward and allow yourself to go with the flow because it kind of takes it away from the I don't know the fun of it isn't it I suppose I feel like I want to pick one of these messages of love for that one so for this hopes and fears let's just see what comes up on this if it's more hopeful or fearful is the answer is it more hopeful or fearful I've really got to keep an eye on the time here guys is it more hopeful or fearful? Ooh. Okay, we've got quite a few came out on there, but we've got reunion, reveal, and destiny. So reunion is we will always come back to each other. So this may be somebody that you've been in a relationship with before, or you kind of keep going back and forth with. So that might be that attract and repel sort of energy. It's like figuring out what it is there with your hopes and fears, why are you doing that? And reveal, that's interesting, it says, I want to tell you the truth, which is interesting because we've got justice on there and Bacano there in what you're leaving behind. So leaving behind a hidden truth. And with justice there, it's kind of like having the integrity to bring the truth forward. So maybe that is what the fear is, is that if a truth is revealed, it may damage things that are, are there. But again, like we've said, you know, having that healthy boundary there, sometimes that actually means honouring each other and, you know, being transparent, letting things out. People sometimes would actually prefer to know the truth than to feel like there's a hidden truth because people do pick up on that energy. If there's something they feel is hidden from them, you can really feel it. And we have destiny. I'm struggling to find the right path. So again, this is that attract repel attract repel kind of energy of sort of like i don't know whether to go forward with this or whether to step back from this but you can't be doing the hokey cokey for the rest of your life you have to make a decision and i do feel from the energy of this reading maybe while you're watching this is that you have made a decision you made a decision to reveal things and then from the outcome of that it's like well i've said it now so it it will go however it will go okay and that's destiny it's sort of like you have to pick a path and that path will unfold how it is. But that path can be changeable, you know? It doesn't, you can't preempt how it's gonna go until you actually go for it. But it does feel to me that actually it will come about as a reunion. So for some of you, this might be somebody that you already know that you maybe need to bring a truth to, or they're bringing a truth to you, um, that's gonna help you to just wipe the slate clean, basically. Um, and for some of you, this might be maybe somebody that you haven't been out with before, but you know of, um, that you want to kind of get with. And maybe the truth here is that you like this person, so you want to sort of let them know that. 
and it's saying we will always come back to each other. So that's a really nice energy of sort of maybe somebody that's been on your mind. Where, where were we talking about that before, about something that's been on your mind and you can't seem to let it go? We were talking about that, weren't we, with like courses and things like that that you might want to do. So it's the same with like people, relationships, that kind of thing. If it keeps coming back round to you, there's a reason for it. Um, and it's finding out what that reason is. So on this spiritual journey that you're going on and trusting yourself and what you need, you may be enlightened to that. So I'm going to move on to your outcome then. So the outcome here is the Queen of Cups, which is a beautiful energy, an intuitive energy, a real emotional intelligence as well. So it's almost like someone's realised, you know, their love and compassion that they want it also contains an energy of, you know, love, compassion, support. So if you're the feminine here, this might represent you as bringing love, compassion and support to somebody else. If you're the masculine here, this might be you getting in touch with your inner feminine qualities and allowing yourself to be open to compassion and support um, your intuition as well. Following and being guided by your intuition. Even if you don't understand why, it's just best to follow it. And then it will become clear. It will all come clear on that one. So I'm going to pick a rune to go with your outcome. So what rune represents your outcome on here? Yeah. Okay. So this kind of suggests that there's been some cycles of natural growth here. So this does feel to me, actually, for many of you watching this as a collective, this could be a previous um, relationship, maybe, that you've kind of gone away and spent some time on your growth, on your personal growth, on this spiritual journey that you've been going on as well. And now it's kind of bringing things back together, like full completion of the wheel. Yera is the energy of slow moving energy over a year, what has been learnt, and then the rewards the um the harvest that you're reaping from that okay that's a really really lovely lovely energy that i'm getting from that as i feel this is to do with love i'm going to pick one of these uh, whispers of love cards to finish this off but if any of this is resonating with you and you want to look into it a little bit deeper maybe looking at your real thoughts and feelings or maybe looking at thoughts and feelings of the person that's maybe part of this reading um, we can go through all of that as well. Let's see what we have. You are limitless. You can do anything that you choose. So if that's not confirmation, I don't know what is. So let's stop this attract and repel and moving back and forth from this idea. It's time to take that move forward. Remember, we're leaving behind here the instability, the lack of direction, the hidden truth. We're leaving all of that behind. You're limitless. You have the ability to transform your life in any way that you wish and make it into whatever you want it to be. You have that ability. Believe in yourself. There's two runes here that represent trust. And there's a rune there that represents taking a chance. One there that is representing that abundance. And it's all there, okay? There's giving and receiving. There's a lot of balance within this. And it feels like that's the direction that you're choosing because you've noticed it does feel balanced. And it's opening you up emotionally, um, inspiring you, um, and really helping you to feel that love and compassion for yourself. So with this little bit that was going on over here, maybe there needs to be an element of forgiveness over that, maybe forgiving yourself or forgiving somebody else to allow this new opportunity to open out and move through. There's a unicorn on there and two swans. So that might be significant to you. Um, I saw some swans earlier that were in a nest and they've got like their eggs and everything. And it's that was a symbol of trust, really. It's, it's also rebirth and trust. So it's like that's a new beginning. Um, and they're being nurtured within that. Yeah. Ready to ready to be hatched, ready to for new life to begin. Um, there's also some peacock fle feathers feathers in there as well which are representing that protection so I do feel there is quite a divine protection around your situation at this time um so yeah I will leave that there for you 
please do get in touch if you would like a personalised reading. All the details are down in the description box below. Um, I also do healings as well, uh, meditations and things, helping you to manifest things that you would like to have in your life. Um, and please don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below as well. Have a blessed day.